moving in stages. Okay. Now, 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 let me get to this, right? You came to London at the age of 16. Yeah. Such a young age. Mm -hmm. What were your aspirations? And oh. what, 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 it, what, what did it even cost you to really get to that level that, look, I, I want to get out of Sierra Leone and re really pursue a different life? Well, the country was going down, basically. Um, it's still going down. <laughs> the country was going down. So people that had money, um, what they would do is send their kids overseas, different places. Uh, my sister went to Sweden. My brother came to England. I came to England. And um, But I guess the question, if we peel the, the onion layer, the question you're trying to ask is, what gave the determination that a 16-year-old, you didn't go wayward? Because I could have done that. Mm -hmm. You know, I could have, I could have had... Um, I could have had children at that age because you know I didn't have a parent to look after me or anything like that. But I didn't. I had a job where they used to call me Reginald Overtime Co. Wow. When, yes, yeah. <laughs> that, that was the name. When somebody called to speak to me, say, Oh, you you want to speak to Reginald Overtime Co. Because any of I kept myself busy. Wow. I kept myself busy in work. Could have gone the other way quite easily. Could have gone the other way, but for the grace of God. Um, so I bought my first home in Battersea when I was with my brother when I was only 18 years old. You bought your first home when you were 18 years old? Yep. Wow. Mm -hmm. And there was no parental help. There was no help to buy. This was straight mortgage, Chelsea Building Society, um, straight deposits, and that was that. So, yeah, so it, it's always been, you know, I saw what happened to my father. So I've always had that kind of responsibility that I'll do what I can to make life better and easier for myself and for my children. That's it. But you've been called regional overtime Larry Cole. Yes, yes. It's the definition of hard work, right? Right. Correct. 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 It means that you cannot take hard work out of the equation, right? No, sir. No, sir. Don't let nobody kid themselves to say, oh, work smart and not hard. You got to do both. Especially, especially when you're starting out. Yes. So, so when you start now, you have to do both. There will come a time when money starts. The, the smart workers are people who put themselves in a position where money starts working for them. Mm. One of my mentors, Jim Fracaroli, used to say to me, your money would work harder than your back ever will. But you have to dig deep to understand that. Yeah. Unless you, you have the money um, eventually, right? Um, and that money would work for you, your investments and so on. Uh, doors will be open for you. But but um, the, the, the mistake people are making, that I've seen they're making, they're thinking work smart. No, when you start now, you have to do both, smart mm -hmm. and hard.